I absolutely loved the first Sandlot film and I had every intention of making the effort to find the second one. But when I said that the third one was on Disney+, Plus, I decided to just go for it because it was convenient. It was there. Turns out I love it. You don't need to have watched the first film to watch this. It will still make sense. But naturally, if you've seen the first film and probably the second film, there'll be a more emotional connection. So this one is actually called, well, it has three titles. The Sandlot Kids 3, The Sandlot 3 and The Sandlot Heading Home. The latter one is the title on Disney Plus if you wish to watch it there. The film is directed by William Deere, released in 2007 and stars, among others, Danny Nucci, Luke Perry, Keanu Pires. And the, I'll read the description from IMDb, actually, as I think this explains it quite nicely. Successful, arrogant baseball superstar Tommy Santa Santarelli travels back in time to 1976 and relives his boyhood days on the Sandlot baseball team and has the chance to this time choose friendship over glory. So the moral there is pretty obvious. We have a very self-loving baseball star and he has a very successful career but is not a very nice person and he is hit on the head with a baseball and the film then transports us back to the 70s he is 12 years old initially he doesn't know what's going on um, he is still a man in a, he is a man in a child's body throughout the entire film so he's always got this recollection of his later life I guess um, and he eventually slowly starts to learn why he has maybe been sent back in time the moral here is obvious it's about choosing as it says there friendship over glory it's about knowing what's important in life and knowing that you don't need to be nasty or self-centered to become successful i think the narrative development is great the boys all have a brilliant friendship um i do say boys they're all boys in this um team i believe the second film there's a girl in it i'm not 100 percent sure um, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest at all. And we do have a great cast of characters. We have the adult Tommy is played by Luke Perry and younger Tommy is Keanu Pyers. And I just think both characters are very believable at being one and the same. I definitely believed that young Tommy was the younger version of older Tommy, if that makes sense. Well casted, well acted. I particularly liked squints played by chauncey lepardi um really interesting character and also officer pork chop who's played by chris gothier and meshach peters who plays q i apologize if i pronounced that name incorrectly i do think we've got a great mix of characters here everybody gels everybody works well together the on-screen chemistry is there it's brilliant it's great fun it's varied it's not all just set on the sand lot there are several little plots going on there. Not only do we have Tommy's own narrative, but the boys all have to work together to try and save the sand lot. There is a, a narrative in there that I wasn't that bothered about. Um, I won't spoil it, but it involves Tommy's mother. And while I gave it a bit more of an emotional thread, I didn't really think it was very necessary, to be perfectly honest. I, it didn't really add much for me. So it could have been left out, but it didn't, you know, it didn't add anything negative by having it in there. So not a problem. I also have to say, I, I can't really say too much without spoiling it. But the one of the final scenes, the transition and the way it relates back to the one of the op one of the earlier scenes is really beautiful. I can't I'm sorry, I wish I could talk about it more, but I don't want to spoil anything. But I thought that was really lovely. I have no issues with it. The soundtrack's nice. The directing's nice. The characters are great. The acting's great. Lovely story. Really loved it. Definitely preferred it to the first one. And that's saying something. Because for me, the first one was absolutely incredible. I will watch the second one. If you know anywhere where it's available to stream. It's, I don't believe it's on Disney+. Plus, But I, I will check Netflix and Prime. If not, I'll have to get the DVD. I'll see what that one's like. But for me, definitely, The Sandlot 3 is even better than The Sandlot 1. 